Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Yes, sir. TNT, you got something for me today here. Uh, yeah, I do have something for you. And But, you know, funny enough, my phone just died. So we're just going to go ahead and wing it. Oh, Truth Not Facts here at the Crazy Town Compound. Can't in Ohio, Jonas. I want to... The Hall of Fame is there. Football. Yeah, I want to say is that another tragedy has happened in this country involving uh police and the way that they handle civilians jonas in canton ohio a uh a man driving a vehicle apparently had a a pole like a, a telephone pole you, or something yeah, utility pole a utility pole and uh he decided to seek refuge in a uh what do you call that uh emirates amets amets it's a miracle american veterans uh Oh, Amvets. Amvets. Amvets bar. Um, he this happened in Canton, Ohio. He went to the Amvets bar. Police were called on him. The the, the owners asked him for him to be removed from the bar. Police uh they uh met the man. They uh intervened in his behavior. The man uh, did not want to be killed that he day. He literally was saying as they walked up, you ain't going to kill me today. Yep, they're, they're trying to kill me, he said multiple times in the video. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but it seems like another incident similar to the George Floyd uh, incident. Knee on happened. the back of the neck, I can't breathe, and death. Yeah, uh, he, he definitely said multiple occasions that he couldn't breathe. Now, I will say is that this, this is a little bit different because... Um, the officer did only have his knee on the man's. I'm not shooting this guy bail. I'm not doing that. But it was only 30 seconds. Yeah, it was not the excessive amount of time. Yeah. It was not the crazy amount of time where I would even say it was like gross negligence, but it was negligence. I mean, in the video, it looked like a standard police thing, but the guy was literally screaming, I can't breathe. Yeah, and uh, so, he was told to shut the F up and just calm down, and he ended up not making it that night, and it honestly was for what one would call like a, a traffic stop. Like, so you hit a pole. So what? Like, why? why I know. We... Maybe he was drunk or had drugs on him. Who knows? I don't know. Right? Like, because here's the thing. <laughs> you sound like a Republican. Well, go no, ahead. No, 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 no. Here's the thing, I guess, that I don't understand about it. It's yeah, like, go ahead. you know, I don't want to get arrested either. Yeah. But if you don't have anything that you're... Mm, mm, mm. Why are you trying to fight being arrested in the first place? That's the part that I guess. I don't, and it might be. Oh yeah, like, I guess you're right, John. He should have died. <laughs> no. Oh, not, okay. So he whoa, should. Whoa, 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 okay. whoa. Okay. Okay no, then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. What I'm saying is. <laughs> let's let's watch where we're blick victim blaming. No, here. we're not victim blaming at all. So he gets in an accident. He goes in the thing. He's in a place he's not supposed to be. The cops come in. Yeah. But like, why are you fight trying to like fight? Uh huh. Um, like I guess like. In my thought, I mean, it may, you know, obviously it's different because, like, I'm a white guy. Like, I know, like, <laughs> white dudes don't get traded nearly the the same I love, as, as, like, I love how this became do. a racial thing. I love it. Well, go well, ahead. Right. Keep it I going. Mean, Keep it but, going. But, here, but here, here's the reality of the situation is, like, mm -hmm. those things tend to happen mm -hmm. to minorities more than they happen to white folks. I am, and I am, I'm, like just salivating right now keep it going okay keep talking so um mm. and it's something that i don't understand because like i know that when i encounter a police officer yes i usually will just talk to him like whatever <laughs> and you've even made comments to me before about like I if the cops this. come we send the white friend to go talk I to him you know what i mean this. so is it like so it. what is <gasps> the mindset of like if the cops are coming is it automatically that Something bad might happen to me, so you are more fight or flight than somebody who may not feel that way. I honestly do not know if I've ever derived any more enjoyment from you delivering a serious message than I have right now when you in a good that. way or a bad way. I don't know. You're in laughing the at absolute worst way possible, but it's so funny, dude. I love it. Oh my God. So look, I love that you said that. I love that you said it because I feel like a lot of people at home are experiencing the same sort of like uh, mental cognitive dissonance. It's like, well, why was he running? Why was he fighting back? Okay. So why was he fighting back? 
who who knows we cannot answer that question but the the when you watch the video and i i would say is that people you should watch this video because you need to educate yourself it's not graphic even no. though a man loses his life in the video it, did he fight back yeah but is that a reason for him to pass away? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. The man did not, in any at any point in time, this 53-year-old man did not put any officer's life in danger. It's not like he had a weapon. He was trying to shoot him or stab him or so, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did he fight? Yes. Should he not have fought? No. Should he have died for fighting? No. Right. Because at no point in time did he do anything to put any officer's life in danger. So let's keep that on the front burner. At no point in time was the officer's life in danger. Oh, even in the fight, so, he would, wouldn't do anything except for like not cooper. Cooper- he was just not cooperating. Exactly. He wasn't even like fighting per was, se. Was he belligerent? Yes. Was he drunk? Possibly. Was he drunk and belligerent and acting as such? Yes. But that is no reason to die. Oh, I'm yeah. going to have to say is that the relationship that African Americans have with the police is different than uh, a Caucasian American would have. Jonas, only to the sense is where we have been brought up and whether whether you like it or not, it is a generational thing where we have to understand is that we have to be wary of the possibility, not even the fact, but the possibility that a cop could have an agenda. Right, right. No, I, I mean, I can understand that. We have Absolutely. to go through, I, I, I feel like, I, I feel like, on a daily basis, I have to be cognizant of anybody who may have an agenda. Not necessarily just an agenda to harm me or to harm me because of a certain issue, but just in general. You got to be kind of just wary of people who may have Any a, cer- a certain mindset. So, right. back to your question. And your question was... I don't even remember. <laughs> Why do black people run from the cops? <laughs> I guess. I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do know. black people? I'm gonna have to say is that that question is founded in in a bit of untruth. I would say is that the majority of the time these these traffic stops, these type of uh, incidents with the police end in a in a fashion that this does not happen. It is only in those cases where gross negligence is enacted by these cops that this this happens. And I'm not ne- even necessarily saying is that this incident was spurred on by racism. It, and Because it definitely was not. No, I, it didn't I, seem like it from the video. No, absolutely not. The other one seemed like a cold-blooded murder. Like George Floyd, This one mean? seems yeah. like gross negligence that ended up in the, the unfortunate loss of a life. And I will say is that the cop still needs to have punishment because you can't like gross negligence is one thing. Oh, man, you crashed your 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 police cruiser, gross negligence and you a person lost their life. I mean, yeah, like you can't even if you're even if you're being an asshole on a car and you hit someone, it's not murder, but it's manslaughter. You're still like you're still culpable. Yeah, you you are accountable for your actions, whether your your intent is to do what happened or not. Yeah. Like if I'm throwing a loaded gun around the yard, around the yard, and it goes off and shoots my neighbor, I'm still responsible for his death because exactly. I'm throwing a gun around like an asshole. Like exactly, yeah. So, so you know, as as a black man myself, I would have to say, Jonas, I'm the type of guy that's going to get out and say, "Hey, officer, what's going on?" I'm getting out of my car. I'm going to be like, "Hey, what's going on, officer? What seems to be the problem?" I'm that guy, you know. So I, I can't I can't necessarily uh, put yourself put, in the mindset of like this guy who ran into a bar and was like, <clears throat> I can't put all of the, I can't put all African Americans in a box. I can't put all right. Black Americans in a box that says is that this is something that is indicative of them. But I will say is that the innate fear, and I wouldn't I don't even want to say fear, but the innate just uh, uneasiness. Is that not, the right word? <sighs> the heightened awareness that takes place heightened when awareness. when like when that. you when you're in contact with a, a law official has to be there not necessarily because of this but because of what has happened in the past because of history exactly like yeah right right no no when it comes makes- down to it we've been through this same incident not only just a couple years ago but a couple years before that and a couple years before that and a couple years before that and in a couple years now, even from it's now, it's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. Yeah. 
It well, and I think the part like that really stands out is that the stories that come out like this, it's never like the cops doing it to a white guy. It's always, it's always, so it's like, not the fact that it, it just seems like, that's why I feel it's driven in racism more in, in some sort of race based thing, because it's, it tends to happen more. Like, it's like the cop, like, and I, I can't put all cops in the buck in a bucket either, but mm -hmm. like, it seems like sometimes they have an agenda too. And it tends to be more of a racism sort of agenda. Like they're, they treat people differently based on their race. Well, and Jonas, a lot of people will say if you see, you know, an individual walking around looking suspicious, and uh, if he fits a certain description, yeah, one would tend to act differently. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I am black, and I will tell you that right now, I feel like that is a true statement. I feel like that is a true statement, is that if you're just walking around and you look suspicious and you're one way, I'm going to look at you a little different than if you're another way, you know, just, just, just that's coming from me. That's coming from me. So I can understand why it is the way it is. I hate it though. Yeah. I and, hate it. And, and I'm I, not suspicious. I look suspicious all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I You're do. Like, I try to look as suspicious as possible. I try to look and I, and suspicious. I guess, as possible. And I guess, like for me, yeah. as someone who like, I don't. I guess I don't have those thoughts. Like if I see a white dude, a black dude, a Mexican dude, whatever, walking around. That part of it doesn't like if you're walking around looking shady, you're walking around looking shady. I don't care what what race you are. Like, why are you being shady in the street? That's my mindset. It isn't like, oh, there's a black guy in the street or there's a Mexican or there's a white dude. It's just like there's a shady guy in the road. What the hell is he doing? Like, why is that guy over there doing that weird thing? Like, I don't know. But I know a lot of people do have a connotation of like, oh, they're this or that or the other. So I don't know, man. I do find that hard to believe. But uh, I, I mean, mean, if you if you are the outlier, then, you know, more power to you. I don't know. I just like people, man. I look as much as you have a hard time putting yourself in the shoes of a of a of a black American male. I have equally as hard a time putting myself in the shoes of a white American male, even though I've had way more exposure to the to the latter than you have to the other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've had way more white friends and been way more white parties than you've been like to. engulfed in white culture than I've been engulfed yeah, in black culture. You ain't been to too many cookouts. And it's okay, Jonas. If I ever have one, you're invited. All right. Yeah, you, I mean, I've been, I've been I've been around a little bit, but not a lot. You, you, ain't, you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, a little yeah. bit. So, Fair but anyways, enough. man. Either way, it's a tragedy. My like, condolences to the family and the friends man. of like, that individual. No matter how belligerent or whatever this dude did, it wasn't like he was pulled out a gun and was trying to shoot the cops. Like he didn't deserve to die. So, yeah, it sucks, man. It sucks. This is the type of world we live in. So, that's all the time we have for today's episode, though. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas TNT. Oh uh, yeah.